Hey guys, welcome to this channel. We're all about prophecy, end time news, and evangelism. It's all about God. So welcome, and if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos like this. I wanna share something right now that's really, really interesting. Uh, God woke me last week at 1 a.m. to remind me of this, and he also woke me in 2014 to show me this for the very first time. What am I talking about? I'm talking about an event on the Hebrew calendar that comes around every seven years called the Shemitah. What's the Shemitah, you ask? A Shemitah is the seventh year in a Hebrew uh, calendar and cycle where God said to the, to the Jewish people, you're to, to remit, you're to cancel debts. And it was also the year where they were to leave the land, not um, plow it, not work on it, just let it lie fallow for the year and just trust um, God to bring in produce, provision, everything they needed within that year. In fact, um, God actually said in Leviticus 25 that he would provide uh, quite, uh, triple the amount that they needed in the sixth year before the land lied fallow in the seventh. So that's amazing. They, ha they came into this uh, abundance, this, this uh, a bounty and this provision in a supernatural way before the Shemitah year. And we're actually, guys, in the sixth year. So that's really exciting. It ties in with a word that Pauline shared before on abundance. This is the year of abundance for those who are in tune with God, for those who are uh, spiritually waiting and positioning themselves in the right way. Guys, what's interesting about the Shemitah, though, is that something significant has always taken place within this year. And obviously back a hundred years, uh, hundreds of years ago in Israel, it was to do with Israel. It was to do with the land. It was to do with uh, the temple. And the temple was destroyed during this Sabbath year uh, a couple of times. And Jerusalem was captured several times during this Sabbath year. So you've got, you've got to make a note of this, this time period. But more interestingly, in recent times and in the last three Shemitahs, America has seen a financial crash. 2001, it happened, 2008, and 2015. And you, you, you know what happened in 2001 and 2008, uh, significant events around the time of September. This was all within the Shemitah. And Jonathan Kahn, Rabbi Jonathan Kahn, goes into more detail on this um, in his book, The Mystery of the Shemitah but I'm not gonna go into that now. What I'm saying is we need to be prepared for what's coming in this year, the Shemitah year, it's the seventh year. And I tell you what's really significant about this is that Israel, when it became a restored nation in um, 1948, it had its first Shemitah in 1951 to 52. That's 5712 in the Hebrew calendar. And what that means is it's been counting seven years from then. That means in 2021, September 2021, this year to September 2022, it's going to be its 70th Shemitah year in the cycle. Now that's really interesting, 70 years. That is very biblical and it often refers to a new era. There's so many examples, I won't go into them now, but there's so many examples of, of 70 um, in the Bible that are significant. And guys, I want to say 70 also represents the completion of the natural order. And we need to be aware of this because I believe it's going to birth a, a brand new era on the earth. And I, I look out for Israel because something significant, I believe, is going to take place in Israel? Could it be the, the rebuilding of the third temple? Could it be the Gog-Magog war? I don't know, but something big is coming, guys. Mark it down. It, and it's actually, if you want the exact date, it's September the 7th of this year to September the 25th of the following year. And I believe it's such a significant period of time. Um, I could go into more depth, but I won't right now. Um, you know, the end times, uh, the last seven years on earth is actually described. It's the tribulation period. 
seven years split up into uh, two parts, three, three and a half years each. That's a schmeter, guys. <laughs> I don't believe that we're coming into the, the tribulation period this year. Um, I really don't believe that. But could it be the next seven years after that? I don't know. Guys, it's just a thought. But what I, I do want to say is, um, you know, be aware. Prepare now. Pray into this, guys. Uh, watch the signs of the times. The last three um, Shemitahs have all seen on the exact date uh, a financial crash. Are we going to see one in this coming Shemitah? Guys, pray now. Get into God because he will provide for you. If there was going to be any kind of um, famine, if there was going to be any kind of uh, crash of any kind, the righteous will be kept safe. That's you and I. And we don't have to fear uh, because it says in Psalm uh, 37, in times of disaster, the righteous will not wither. And in times of famine, we shall have plenty. So that's good news, guys. Good news to hold on to. But guys, be prepared. Mark this date. Look out for, for things happening. Pray for Israel because I believe it needs our prayers today more than ever before. I, I could probably go into this another time because there's a lot to this. But it's so significant and I felt I had to share it with you. I hope it's helped. But guys, the Shemitah year is coming. It's a time where, where God's going to restore things. Uh, you know, debts were, were to be repaid or to, count, to be cancelled. And I believe that if you need that in your life, God wants to do that, to reset. It's all part of his great reset that, that people are talking about that's going on right now. And so expect good things, guys, as you remain in God and in his son, Jesus Christ. Bless you guys. Thanks for watching this video and look out for the next one.